our very own Miss Tanya Rush is enjoying this beautiful day, dressed in her bathrobe and Bronco slippers. Go Broncos! What's up, Tanya? Yes, of course. So we have to show the slippers. We're in bathrobe slippers because it is a race to end homelessness. It involves a bed. But see, where are your slippers? So we're getting sorry. a very important part. I got my Broncos ones on there. See? Beautiful. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Um, what is this event all about? It involves bed, and no, not this size of bed. This is just a replica, actual yes. size bed, right? Right, right. So explain that. So we're focused on helping families experiencing homelessness, and this bed race is a race of mock beds down a street. Oh. And what a wonderful way to bring awareness to homelessness and have fun at the same time. So do people, okay, they actually have mock beds. Obviously they need to roll. Yes. Now how can they decorate if you're a team or have a certain theme? Great question. So a lot of themes come out from favorite songs, favorite music. <laughs> Uh, favorite movies and teams will put wheels on wood frames or metal frames and they race them down the street. It's not going to be fun. Now where, which uh, streets or, or where? So the race is right alongside Conservatory Green Park and Plaza on 49th um, between 49th and 50 on Valencia Street. And you people should pre-register right? Yes. But can they just roll in a bed and show up and ready to go as well? Uh, no, they should no. register. They <laughs> because should you register. have to get this ready, don't you? <laughs> they I, do. I mean, this they is a do. big event. Okay, yes. so pre-register yes. um, and you can sign up for the race, familypromiseofgreaterdenver.org. Ali, so how will all this help support that organization? Because you have yeah. a very serious role in our community. Yes. And now is a crucial time to help homelessness. Absolutely. So um, really many ways. It's going to raise awareness of homelessness. A lot of people, when they think of homelessness, they don't think of families. So mm -hmm. we are here serving families, um, raising awareness, and then also raising um, money. So financial supports, it is a fundraiser. So it's a fun way to give back to the community and get involved. When you were saying too that oftentimes we forget about children and that's right. becoming a larger population of the homelessness yeah. problem. Yeah, actually the largest segment of those experiencing is. homelessness is families. So, so there's lots of kids in this uh, community that are in need and that's why we support families with emergency mm -hmm. shelter, with supportive services, with meals, um, and lots of different services. So That's wonderful and yeah. fulfilling and helping to keep them going and know that you can change in their support of the community. Mm -hmm. um, so how are these bed teams going to be judged? Fast, creative? All of the above. The most cozy. <laughs> yes. I mean, what? You know, we'll have five main prizes. So first, second, and third place for speed. Of course, okay. that's important. Yes. Uh, the most creative bed design and the most spirited team. Now, how long is this course? Obviously, there's a beginning and a finish line. Mm -hmm. Right. How it's, far do you have to push about? It's a city block. So not too, okay, no. not too far. Okay, not too far. No. But yeah. you actually have to know too, here's the secret, how to steer, I would think. Right. Yes, that will right. be important. <laughs> so grease those wheels and you got to steer and be very creative uh, with this. How much um, time do they, they don't build them there. No. Okay. No. It takes a few hours. Teams do it beforehand and bring them to the race. Okay, so that's the best way to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then why do you think this is, this is the first annual. It yes. is the first one and in so Denver. And so we have to help you really kick mm -hmm. this off. And why is this so important? You know, I think going back again to the awareness piece, um, really sharing with the community um, that we exist as an organization, mm -hmm. that there are resources for families in this area, um, but also really just the tremendous need for families who are experiencing homelessness. Of course. Now, you know Nine News also has a bed. Yes, right. and we are so yet? excited. No. Because I have it, but people say it's really going to be great. Uh, we can't and they are, wait. Let me just tell you, I know from our Halloween costume contest, mm -hmm. we are competitive. Okay. Oh, okay. So Bring there you go. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope to help make this very successful so there's a second, a third, 10, yes. 15, 20 years from now yes. and celebrating all the work that you definitely do. Thank and you so much. you got to work on your bed here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll, we'll, have we'll have a better one on Saturday. Okay. We got the, we got the <laughs> ropes down. Um, the Race in Homelessness uh, kicks off. It's 10 a.m. It is Saturday, September 17th in Stapleton. Learn more if you have more questions about design, how to do this, any restrictions, 303-675-0713, or you can visit familypromiseofgreaterdenver.org.